assalamu alaikum good morning how are you all as you know that we have entered in the third term so let us talk about the third term syllabus it includes unit 9 all is not lost unit 10 drug addiction unit 11 noise in the environment unit 12 three days to see you just need to write these chapters name in your copy but make sure before writing the chapters uh, before writing the syllabus uh, the proper title page should be made of third term proper index should be made in your copies and then the syllabus then the title page of the first chapter then you may carry on with your remaining work let us have a detailed knowledge about the unit 9 all is not lost you can see in the picture we are having a nurse an injured man and the surround and in surroundings there are some nurse and doctors are there by this image we can imagine that there we can uh, get we get to know that this chapter includes uh, a story of nurse a story of an injured person let's have a look it was the beginning of my profession as a nurse. I worked in the, in the intensive care unit ICU of the neurology ward. As a young professional, I wished to save the world. I was excited to see the patients making quick recoveries from devastating accidents, yet I was pained to nurse those who were struck with acute neurological disorder. You see, it is having an introduction of ICU. Do you know about ICU? It is an intensive care unit in a hospital where a patient is giving care, intensive care to the patient. Each and every machinery is there for any kind of emergency. Uh, ventilators are there, uh, heartbeats machines are there. BP machines, sugar machine, each and everything is there which a patient can get uh, uh, any time. So it is available in the intensive care unit so they can give their patient by any nanoseconds as well. An attendant is also there uh, which is carrying the patient. So it is a story of the ICU, uh, it, it is a story of a nurse who, who, were, who was working in the ICU unit in the neurology department. Neurological, neurology department is concerned with neurological disorders, I mean the disorders of the brain, disorders of the spinal cord. Neurological studies is actually the detailed knowledge about the brain. So it connects each and everything, neurological department connects each and everything which is connected to the brain. So in paragraph 2, what happened then? One day, standing at the, beside, at the bedside of a young patient, I wondered if she could make the same recovery like others. Hera had received severe head and spinal injuries as she was hit by a speeding bus while crossing a busy road. I took her lifeless arms in my hand and tried to do several exercises on her but in vain. Also, I asked her younger sister to come and talk to her, thinking that the voice of a near and dear one might activate the nearly dead neurons. She could see but not talk. Her eyes showed a certain helplessness. I could read her mind through her eyes. Perhaps she wanted to say, please help me. You see what happened in the ICU. There was a patient came uh, who named Hera. She she has got an accident by crossing a road. She got severe damage in her head and a spinal cord. What happened then? <clears throat> Uh, she was not responding anything, her arms, her legs, her body, there was no, not a single movement. She was just, just like a dead body. And everyone considering that she may not get uh, uh, recover from her disease. Uh, but the nurse tried many things. She asked her sister to talk with her that she thought that she may get uh, the, her sister's voice in her brain. She may, uh, uh, she may get better, but there was no response. She felt that only her eyes was open and her eye and Hira's eyes was saying that, please help me, somebody please help me, please help me to recover from my disease. 
In paragraph 3, a fellow nurse came near me and asked, Rahila, what are you doing? Fighting a lost party? I was shocked at first to hear a colleague making a hopeless comment. Then I replied, I am trying to make her brain process by her sister's voice. Also, I am doing my best to ensure that her arms and legs get proper exercise. This might help her walk like a normal person. Meanwhile, a senior doctor on duty walked in. He gave me an ironic smile and said, If you spend most of your duty hours on one patient, we will have to recruit more nurses to attend and attend the other patients. Please go and see the other patients. We do not have much hope for her. I don't think that she can ever walk again. What happened here was a patient whom everybody's suggestion was that she may not recover doctor said the other nurses said that she may not recover even the doctor said that she may not walk for her own life she may get paralyzed she may get uh, uh, not be able to walk for her own life but the nurse was kept on trying she wanted to do something for her so she was explaining to the nurse and the, to the doctor that uh, I want to help that girl, I want to help that girl. But finally, the doctor said to her that if you spend your whole time on a single patient, then we would be, then we would have to attend, we would have to collect more nurses for the other patients. We would have to hire more nurses for other patients if you will give time to the one. That was the doctor's thoughts. Then in paragraph 4, I was upset. The advice to leave the patient unattended did not seem right. I knew that she had suffered from major neural damage, but they needed to be given a chance. An inner voice somewhere within me spoke try once for her. This was the nurse thought that she had to try once more. She needed to try once more. She have to try once more. So I think she is a what even what you think about this nurse that uh, what she is doing is she doing right and what every nurse should have to do in that situation the doctors are saying something the nurse, the senior nurses are saying something and what she is doing she she is going against to the doctor and the nurse is she doing right or wrong what is your thoughts we'll continue the uh, the remaining chapter uh, tomorrow.